hey guys welcome to my channel everyone and thank you so much for watching what is happening you guys i am jade if you're new here please hit the like button and also share thank you so much for doing that remember the guy <laughs> the guy with all the answers to everything the one that was running his mouth some days ago and basically accusing messi chingo of being an infidel who cheated on her husband while simultaneously accusing um messi chingo's husband of being important based on their declaration in court remember him so this is him today basically apologizing begging crying like this is so funny so we're gonna go over this and i'll be back with the rest of my opinion there's a lot that went down told you i told you guys how messi chin was a uh, husband as well as um nathaniel bassi basically filing motions in court separately obviously to have this man present before a court you know before a judge and come and give explanation as to why he said what he said so yeah and fast forward to recently he has been posting a storm apologizing for the things that he said crying and all of that malarkey so take a look at this <laughs> <laughs> oh my god 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 <laughs> oh my god hey see life hi yeah 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 some people eh? mm, 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 mm. some people have a way of just complicating lies for themselves so now you know it depends on where you stand you either believe this theatrics or you don't i don't want to give my opinion on it but the only thing that i will say is that it's so, it is so funny <laughs> which one is it like not the best <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> these people eh again i don't want to speak to whether or not this is so so fake to me or if this is real or whatever but actions have consequences you know what you put out there you are going to get it back okay like the whole situation is just so funny to me imagine this is a far cry from coming out with his full chest tomorrow don't come and say justice for messi chimo's husband though go and get a dna test though i'm not going to come and say justice for messi chimo's husband I like how do you go from that <laughs> i thought you have all the answers <laughs> i thought you have all the answers so oh gosh why do people complicate matters for themselves all because of views all because of notoriety people will just be putting themselves in deep hot oil because of drama because of notoriety look now 
These people that you are challenging, these people that you are slandering their names, they have money. They have people that will even, they have a, a strong enough fan base that will say, keep your money. Let us teach this person a lesson. Let us, we will spend our money just to teach them a lesson. All you have to do, Messi Chinwo and your husband and Nathaniel Bassi, just appear, just come before a court. We will handle the financial aspect of this situation. Like you are contending with people and you are contending with lies. If the things that you are saying are even true, then it won't even be like a big deal. Like you are lying, you are you are fabricating things because you want to go viral. They never even touch you small. And like I said in my previous video about this, I particularly had a newfound respect for these people because they did not put the cart before the horn. They did it legally so that they are not found wanting before the sight of God. What was done to them was wrong. You know, God also encourages justice. You want justice, seek justice. I particularly love the fact that they did not, you know, go and harass him and then take him to court. They did everything. They petitioned the court to have him present before a judge and come and tell what he knows what he understands so i definitely do have a newfound respect for these people for the way they handle this but actions have consequences <laughs> it, it's so funny he's not done let me show you what he's still talking about oh my goodness let me sh let me <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was the heart of men. Is in heart. Okay, listen to this. Now, guy. I want to send out this video to Mr. Chingwo and Nathaniel Basi. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, crap. He has removed the video. The video that I was about to play, he has removed it. I think he was probably watching me and he removed the video. <sighs> I don't like this. <sighs> oh. Why do I second guess myself like this? Why did I not save this video? I feel so... Okay, 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 okay. I saved it, I saved it, I saved it. I saved the first one, but I forgot to save the second one. Oh my gosh. Ah, there was another video that I forgot to save. That one was even more funny. I think he was watching me. Because when I tried to, like, play the video... It just told it just gave me a broken link sign. Okay. It gave me a broken link sign. And then when I tried to refresh, it wouldn't allow me. But I saved the, the one that we're gonna play. I saved it just now. I just need to render it. Give me a second. Now uh, I want to send out this video to Mr. Chingwo and Nathaniel Basi. Um I'm sorry anyway. Let me start by this way to apologize for what I did and for the video I did. The video that went viral. I'm very sorry. Now it's obvious that we have five that did this thing because the petition said we petition five people that uh, they did this thing. Anyway, I I came online and I um, I agree the fact that I did it. You and agree? I never oh, knew that this video would be like thank this. Thank you for agreeing that you did because we didn't see what we saw. Thank you for agreeing that you did, though. Hey, yeah. Otherwise, we would not have known that you did. We did not see you. Mm -mm. Um, uh, I never knew, and um, my conscience told me that what I did was bad. That was why I came out to apologize. If not, I could have deactivated my account the same way those people did. All I'm saying is, I'm sorry. It was not my intention to document everybody's character. Please, you know, for many of you that are insulting, nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect, and I'm nobody's perfect. I'm sorry. What I'm just saying is, I'm sorry. I will never do it again. That's what I'm saying. And remember. My video was the last video. A lot of people have posted that I posted their own opinion. I posted everything. It was my own. My own. I only got 300 views before you know it went viral. But I did not hide. I did not deactivate my page. I came out here and I'm saying I'm sorry because what I did, even in sight of God and in sight of man, is not good. I never want to put you guys into depression. I never want you guys to be painful. I never want you guys to be sad. What I'm saying is that I'm really sorry for what I've done. And it was never my intention to broke your marriage. Or it was never my intention to blackmail you. It was never my intention to bring you guys down. But what I'm saying is, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the video and I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Forgive my manners. Mm -hmm. For those people that said about AY and MC Baka, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. All you don't know is bigger than you. Can you imagine? Now, do you, you think sometimes I was supposed to say what I don't like doing? I see myself doing it. Not because I love it, but because I want <laughs> He said, Apostle Paul said, what well, I don't like doing, I see myself. <laughs> I see myself doing it. Hey, gosh. See life. See religious manipulation. Apostle Paul said, what I don't like doing, I see myself doing it. <laughs> actually says that um he says the same thing every time whenever he drags these people and then when he gets pushed back he will say the same thing can you imagine so perhaps it's time for them to actually teach him a lesson because clearly he has not on he does not understand you can't keep repeating the same thing and then using the same line the same bible verse pastor paul said well i don't like doing i see myself doing it when exactly are you going to learn when are you going to learn Keep repeating the same thing, repeating the same thing, repeating the same thing. At some point, you have to face the consequences of your actions. Eh? Let me take it back a little bit. Let, let him tell us what Apostle Paul said. <laughs> let him tell us what Apostle Paul said. Hit the like button, guys. If you're watching from Facebook and YouTube. Thank you. Do you, you think sometimes Apostle Paul say what I don't like doing? I see myself doing it. Not because I love it, but because I was born in the dynamic nature of sin. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? The Bible also said, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Okay? Quoting Bible, go and figure out what that means. You cannot continue in sin because, oh, you were born in the dynamic nature of sin, and then you just continue to do the same thing. And then when called out, use the same talking points to justify your actions. Like, what is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you? <laughs> ah, Pastor Paul said. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The Bible said, I will show mercy and companion on whom I, I wish to. The Bible said, The heart of man is in his hand. So I believe and I'm praying that God will touch them. It's not by you reposting this video, but by you sharing it. The Bible already said, I will show mercy on my will show. You know, this video that you saw of Blind, it already did again right from 1990 that this thing will happen. A day like this, something like this will happen. Hey, yeah. Uh uh. Okay. So it was already this this thing in the remote. So I guess because it was already ordained, we can, why are you apologizing then? If it has already been ordained that this was supposed to happen since 1990, it has been ordained, then the consequences of your actions has also already been ordained. So just sit back and face the ordained consequences. Sit back and enjoy the ordained consequences. Since everything has been ordained, why are you begging? Why are you apologizing? Why not just sit back and enjoy the consequences of what has been ordained since 1990? You get mouth. <laughs> sit back and enjoy the consequences of what was what was ordained since 1999. Since now, so you won't reason them. Eh? Why are you begging? Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of the consequences? Why are you afraid to stand before a judge and tell them what you know? Why don't you just take it all in stride? Because according to you, it has been ordained. Spirit. So it just came to manifestation. But I cannot blame I cannot blame myself. I cannot justify myself. Can you imagine? 
He cannot blame himself. He cannot just hey hey. Oh my show. Mm. I cannot say what I did was right, but all because what I did was wrong in the sight of man, in the sight of God. For I plead for forgiveness. I'm one of your fans. So if you cannot say what you did is right and wrong in the sight of man, why are you begging for forgiveness? Why? Is it because you're trying to avoid the consequences that has been ordained since 1990? Is that why you are pleading? Because how are you pleading for forgiveness, pleading for mercy over something that you claim you cannot you cannot say what you did was all that like you're basically not taking accountability. You're saying, oh, it has been ordained. Then what was the point of the apology? <laughs> my my phone, your music is in my phone. I normally play your music. I don't know whether it's there or something that came over me that made me to do that video. But in all I'm saying is that I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for doing no, that you're video. Not sorry. You're not sorry because you're blaming it on circumstances. You're blaming it on predestination. You're blaming it on, oh, this, everything that happened as we predestined, it has been ordained. That, you're not sorry. Because if you were sorry, you would not be using all these excuses to justify what you did. I hope they fry you. Mr. Man, I hope they fry you. I hope you pay for what you have done. Seriously. I'm really sorry for laying allegation on you. I'm really sorry for saying that your son looked like that at the I'm very sorry. You know, there was a guy video I watched when a guy was trying to justify his action, saying that he, seek, he, he did his opinion, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm not in for that. I'm not here to argue with you that we're, no. What I'm just saying is that I'm sorry. My fans that lost me, I want to share this video. So this video will get to them that I'm really sorry for what I did. It was not intentional and it can never be intentional. And whatever thing I said on that video was false and lie. But they said that ignorance is not an excuse in the law. All right? So I'm just sorry. If you see, for the respect I have, I deleted the video from my page. I did not keep the video. All right? I did not keep the video. I, I deleted it. That is how you know the person that is remorseful. But those guys no, that you're not remorseful, you're you're blaming it on predestination, you're blaming it on on something being ordained since 1990. You're not remorseful, you're full of shit. Join me, do not delete the video. What I'm saying here is that please, I'm sorry, forgive me and forgive them. Please, please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, and I'm begging the old Nigerians that I'm really sorry for disappointing you guys and um, even the five people. I'm sorry. We are all one. We are all children. I'm not saying that what we did was right. But all we are doing was to chase money. All we are doing is just to make money in the right way. Not not scamming anybody, not scamming the white man. We just wanted to make money in the right way. But all I'm saying is that please, I'm sorry. So in Thank your you in your infinite infinite wisdom, Oga, this nonsense accusing somebody the way you accuse Messi Chingo, is your own idea of making money the right way. Like, some people have a really warped concept of right and wrong. Like, wow. It is amazing. It is amazing. Everything has been predestined. Then why are you begging? Then just sit down and chop what like when Jesus came to earth, when when Jesus came in human form to die for us, you know, and when his disciples were trying to fight off the so the Roman soldiers or whatever, guess what Jesus said? He didn't he 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 stopped them from doing that because he knew that this was his purpose. This was the reason why he came on earth. This was the reason why he took on human form to come and die on the cross of Calvary. So he didn't want them to change the course of, of uh, history. He didn't want them to change what had been predestined, what was supposed to happen. So since you say that this had been preordained since, since 1990, then don't apologize. Just wait for the consequences. Wait for it. Just wait. 
since there because for something to be preordained that means there is a lesson that humanity must learn from the situation right for something to be preordained that means there is a lesson to be learned so why are you apologizing why don't you just wait the whole thing out and let you know and let us learn whatever lessons we're supposed to learn from this Any anyhow person. Very any now I want to send out this video. Let me show you guys again what this clown was saying. Let me show you guys the the crap that came out of this clown's mouth. If you become late, I don't want to hear judgment or justice for this person or this person. Like you are retarding somebody's child. Go and do DNA test. I don't know one of your basic face is doing on your son's face. That your son not resemble you. You don't resemble Mr. Chingo. What you can your son with Nathan Basi. You guys will see the pictures of this guy on this video. Or go go and go and search for the picture. You see that this boy does not go resemble Nathan um uh Mr. Chingo's bad. If you don't do DNA now. You will end up training another man child on this world. I'm passing this message across to Messi Chino, the gospel artist. I'm passing this message to her husband and him and herself. I want you guys to share this video so Messi Chino husband will see this video. Now, there's something I want to tell you guys. Stay tuned. Now, she, she surfaced at some case yesterday on the internet. Everybody saw it. I saw it. But if you can tell yourself the truth, who that baby resemble? That baby resemble Nathaniel Passi. Blessed and son to blood by the two husband. Go and do DNA of that child. Go if you don't do DNA for that child. 18 years, I don't want to hear justice for yourself. That you have to train on that man's child right on time. That baby really resemble uh, Nathaniel Passi. If, if you're a true Nigerian, look at that picture. You see this picture on this video. Look at that picture very well. You tell me, tell me whether the baby is not going to resemble Mr. Chiwo. Is it not resemble Mr. Chiwo's bar? How many of you go carry that in your face? The world, the Christian world is demonic. You see this, you see the entertainment and Christian and, and musical world. Let's tell ourselves the truth. If blessed does not do the only now, that means in future that we say, you have been training another man child for the past many years. And remember that internet does not forget anything. This video will be here when I ask you, blessed, to go and run DNA test on that child because I'm 100% sure, maybe or maybe not, you are not the father of that child because the child does not resemble you. We want to resemble Nathaniel Bassi. I don't know what Nathaniel Bassi's case is doing in your baby. Every time you see Nathaniel Bassi and Mr. Chin will minister, going to um, um, churches to minister. Maybe they don't minister finish, they don't minister for bed. Oh, as as Mr. Basi minister, our children minister, they will minister for bed. Let us tell ourselves the truth. That is why many 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 men as father so many children that is not their own. Ninety percent of first son of first daughter in Nigeria, ninety percent of them, the 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 um, the, the man they call the father are not the real father. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Truth be told. Every day we are hearing that this person is telling a child, this person is telling somebody's child. Now, God don't bring this one, show you. They tell you, so this face, Nathaniel Bassi's face, go and do something. But because you are focused on love, you don't want to do something. But I want to remind you that the only thing we suppose on this, uh, on this internet, I will still remind you of this video. Just imagine how this girl is going to put Nathaniel Bassi. What do you think that Nathaniel Bassi will do for your picking face? the program, the same program, every time back to back. So if the minister finish, they will go or they will go minister their own. Well, I know that you guys fans will in the abuse me, say no manner of rubbish, but if you have not seen the picture, go, go and talk for the picture, and you understand what I'm saying, that this child does not belong to Mr. Chihuahua's band. This child belongs to Nathaniel Tassi. Can you imagine? Pass this video to them. And this picture can you the display is not Nathaniel Bass, it's not blessed um child. That our video 
If that an Abbas's son, share this bros, this video will get to them. Can you imagine the nonsense that came out of this clown's mouth? Only for him to turn around now and be claiming that uh, um, I'm sorry, anyway, let me start by this way to apologize for what I did and for the video I did, the video that went viral. I'm very sorry. Now, it's obvious that we have five that did this thing because the petition said the petition five people that uh, Look at him crying. Look at him crying. Look at him. Hey! Look at him. Hey! Look at him crying. Hey, hey, You can dish it, but you can't take it. This is a classic case of dishing it, but not having the same energy to take what they dish out, they put out in the world. Can you imagine the nonsense? The mouth that this one used to run, the, the energy that he used to run his mouth. God. And now he's crying. God. And the caption on the video, oh, Seth, uh, you guys say, oh, uh, the caption on the video itself, it was so hilarious. Let me even see if I can find the caption so that I can post it. The caption on the video of him rolling on the floor crying. I say, eh, hey, they never even start. They never even start. You don't, they, you don't, they cry like this. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me quickly, um, let me find the screenshot. Let me see. They say now, I'm so sorry, Messi Chingo. Da, 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 da. Like, oh my goodness. I'm looking for the one where he basically said, is this life, is this life that he is living that he want to he want to buy himself for oh. that he want to buy himself yeah got it let me share that this is not life that he's living no oh. that he want to buy himself i say continue to the to the do pity party expecting that anybody will feel sorry for you okay Sorry, guys. I wasn't even expecting to add this. I didn't remember. I should have already had this posted before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Threatening to cook by himself. I say, eh? Okay. Okay. So he's like, what life? I got no life. I am in the dark here. The, the prey prey is buying me and people think it's a joke. Nobody thinks it's a joke. You're just a laughing stock. People are just mocking you because this is what you brought on yourself. That's why people are mocking you. Okay. I did this thing. Anyway. Listen. Uh, let's listen. Now, I want to send out this video to Mr. Chinwo and Nathaniel Pasi. Um, I'm sorry, anyway, let me start by this way to apologize for what I did and for the video I did, the video that went viral. I'm very sorry. Now, it's obvious that we have five that did this thing because the petition said it's petition five people. So you are reminding people that, why can't you just focus on your own and what you did? Why are you reminding everybody that there are also four other people that are not responding that potentially deleted their account according to you? So you are stalking all these people to see who deleted their account. That uh, they did this thing. Anyway, I I came online and I um, that uh, they did this thing. Anyway, I'm very sorry. 
Now it's obvious that we have five that did this thing because the petition said the petition five people that uh, they did this thing. Anyway, I I came online and I, I agreed the fact that I did it, and I never knew that the video would be like this between God and man. I never knew, and um, my conscience told me that what I did was but That was why I came out to apologize. If not, I could have deactivated my account the same way those people did. All I'm saying is I'm sorry. It was not my intention to determine everybody's character. Please. Now, for many of you that are insulting, nobody's perfect. <laughs> nobody's perfect. I don't hear. And I'm nobody's perfect. Mm. I'm sorry. What I'm just saying is I'm sorry. I will never do it again. Mm. That's what I'm saying. And remember, my video was the last video. A lot of people have posted that I posted their own opinion. I posted everything. It was my own. My own. I only got Why don't 300 you just views say your own before you know it went viral. But I did not hide. I did not deactivate my page. I came out here and I'm saying I'm sorry. Because what I did, even in sight of God and in sight of man, is not good. I never want to put you guys into depression. I never want you guys to be painful. I never want you guys to be sad. But what I'm saying is that I'm really sorry for what I've done. And it was never intention to approach your marriage. Or it was never intention to blackmail you. It was never my intention to bring you guys down. But what I'm saying is... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the video and I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Forgive my manners. Now, for those people that said about AY and I'm back, let me tell you something. All you don't know is bigger than you. <laughs> now, you, you think sometimes I'm supposed to say what I don't like doing. Why you don't know doing. is bigger because than I you? Because, because I was born hey, in the time. Gosh. What you don't know is bigger than you. Okay. <laughs> Many nature of sin. The Bible said, I will show mercy and companion on whom I, I wish to. The Bible said, the heart of men is in his hand. So I believe and I'm praying that God will touch them. It's not by you reposting this video, but by you sharing it. The Bible already said, I will show mercy on my show. You know, this video that you saw of Plan, it have already been ordained right from 1990 that this thing will happen. A day like this, something like this will happen. So it was already this, this thing in the realm of the spirits. So it just came to manifestation. But I cannot blame you. I cannot blame myself. I cannot justify myself. I cannot say what I did was right. But all because what I did was wrong in the sight of man, in the sight of God. For I plead for forgiveness. I'm one of your fans. My my phone, your music is in my phone. I normally play your music. I don't know whether it's there or something that came over me that made me to do that video. But in all I'm saying is that I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for doing that video. I'm really sorry for laying allegation on you. I'm really sorry for saying that your son looked like that and never see. I'm very sorry. You know, there was a guy video I watched when a guy was trying to justify his action, saying that he seek he, he did his opinion, blah 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 blah. No, I'm not in for that. I'm not here to argue with you that word. No. What I'm just saying is that I'm sorry. My fans that lost me, I want to share this video. So this video will get to them that I'm really sorry for what I did. It was not intentional and it can never be intentional. And whatever thing I said on that video was false and lie. But they said that ignorance is not an excuse in the law. All right? So I'm just sorry. If you see, for the respect I have, I deleted the video from my page. I did not keep the video. All right? I did not keep the video. I deleted it. That is how you know the person that is remorseful. But those guys that joined me did not delete the video. What I'm saying here is that, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me and forgive them. Please. Those guys did not delete their video. How does that concern you, Oga? <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. And I'm begging the old Nigerians that I'm really sorry for disappointing you guys. And um, even the five people, I'm sorry. We are all one. We are all choosing. I'm not saying that what we did was right. But all we are doing was to chase money. All we are doing is just to make money in the right way. Make money at, you know on at somebody else's expense right and you call yourself a godly person and you're running your mouth about how you know things are preordained and blah 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 eh not not scamming anybody not scamming the white man we just wanted to make money in the right way by destroying somebody else's life you wanted to make tell me what is the right way about this destroying somebody else's life i know you're still watching me because you just blocked me, but you I'm sure you have other accounts that you're using to watch me. So imagine 
destroying somebody else's life simply because you want to make money. And then you still have the audacity to say, that is you making money the right way. Now, I fall now, do you even understand the concept of right and wrong? Oh, my goodness. But all I'm saying is that, please, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. I agree. Mary says, even this apology is disrespecting them. Yeah, I agree. Because this basically is a non-apology. Okay, okay, let me just apologize. Even though it has been preordained that this was going to happen, but let me just apologize. It's really disrespectful. Really, really disrespectful. <laughs> this on your pool water for high begin they cry Put water for I, you know, press record, they cry. Somebody said, Jay, Lord, please play the video again. Lord, I missed it. Which one? The one where he was quoting the Bible. <laughs> um, Israel Badewa says, You said what you don't know is bigger than yourself. If you defame people of different religion, your head would have been beheaded by now. Right, right. Okay, let me now. Go. I want to send out this video to Mr. Chinwo and Natanya Pasi. Um, I'm sorry, anyway. Uh, Victoria Ofe says, Why is he calling for forgiveness? There is no forgiveness for this wicked, um, uh, for the wicked. Um, he knows and understands what he was saying. This is what people do to tarnish their image. Please let Lord take its course. Um, Mona Loco says, let Pastor Nathaniel and the blessed and the blessed please not withdraw the petition. Uh, Magda Peter says, you don't have to squeeze your eyes to cry. <laughs> he is definitely squeezing. Oh my gosh. Uh, Yvette Williams says, please, fake man, he will do it again if he's not arrested. Makeda Kanga says, this is complete disrespect. I agree. I absolutely agree. It is. Let me start by this way to apologize for what I did and for the video I did. Like somebody stated here, even the apology is, a, is, is a, another form of disrespect. Because this right here is a non-apology. The video that went viral, I'm very sorry. Now, it's obvious that we have five that did this thing. Because the petition said, the petition five people that, uh, that did this thing. Anyway, I, I came online and I, I, I agreed the fact that I did it. And I never knew that the video would be like this. Between God and man, I never knew. And um, my conscience told me that what I did was bad. That was why I came out to apologize. If not, I could have deactivated my account the same way those people did. 
what I'm saying is I'm he sorry. Keep pointing so those not my intention to out. determine everybody's character. He keep pointing Please. those people's yeah, names when... out. Why don't you just focus on your own? Focus on your own. We have over 200 people watching on YouTube. Hopefully, you guys have been hitting the like button. You know? Let me see at least 150 likes there. Many of you that are insulting, nobody's perfect. Mm. Nobody is perfect. And uh, nobody's perfect. I'm sorry. What I'm just saying is I'm sorry. I will never do it again. That's what I'm saying. And remember, my like video was the last video. A lot of people have posted that. Come on, Facebook. Come on. Uh, sorry, come on, YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Hit the like button, guys. YouTube, how about 204 people and we only have how many? We need to get this to 100. Somebody actually just hit the on like. Hit the like button, YouTube. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me see. Um, hit the like button. I, I posted their own opinion. I posted everything. It was my own. My own. I only got 300 views. Before you know, it went viral. Can you imagine? You're still worried about the views. But I did not hide. I did not deactivate my page. I came out here and I'm saying I'm sorry. Because what I did... Even in sight of God and in sight of man, it's not good. I never want to put you guys into depression. I never want you guys to be painful. I never want you guys to be sad. What I'm saying is that I'm really sorry for what I've done. And it was never intention to broke your marriage. Or it was Regina also says, Messi Chingwe, Pastor Nat, please forgive him when he's in jail, not now. <laughs> I know, right? When he's in jail, you can forgive. Then you can forgive. My intention to blackmail you. He's not even sorry. Okay? And this is my opinion, obviously. He's not even sorry. He's just deflecting. He's just running around, using different antics, trying to pull those other people, his um, fellow conspirators and, you know, he's just fellow defendant, I should say. He's just pulling all those people, pulling them, pulling them, pulling them in. He's not even really sorry. You can say you're sorry till you're blue in the face, but your actions have to match what you're saying. His actions are not matching his sorry, because he's still justifying, still making excuses, still pointing fingers and saying, remember there are five of us that are that are uh, been that have been accused. Remember, I'm the only one who has apologized. Where are the four of them? Why not focus on yourself and worry about yourself and leave those other ones alone? They will see what's coming to them. They will get what's coming to them. It was never my intention to bring you guys down, but what I'm saying is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the video, and I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Forgive my manners. Now, for those people that said about AY and I'm but let me tell you something. What you don't know is bigger than you. Now, do you, you think sometimes I was supposed to say what I don't like doing? I see myself doing it. Not because I love it, but because I was born in the dynamic nature of sin. The Bible said I will show mercy and companion on whom I, I wish to. Imagine. The Bible said the heart of men is in his hand. So I believe and I pray that God will touch them. Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? You will be posting this video about by you sharing it. Bible already said I will show myself my show. You know, this video that you saw of Blind, it have already been from 1990 that this thing will happen. A day like this, something like this will happen. Then why are you apologizing? Then just face the consequences of your actions. Since it has been ordained, why are you apologizing? Face the consequences. Face it. Since it has been ordained since 1990, like you said, then deal with the consequences. Don't apologize. That's why earlier on, I use this I use Jesus as an example. Jesus came for the purpose of dying for mankind. Okay? When it was time, even when the disciples were trying to fight off the Roman soldiers, Jesus rebuked them, told them no, because the work of the the, the will of God must surely come to pass. The will of God. So if there is a lesson to be learned with this situation with your actions then learn it then let us learn it then don't apologize 
double down continue to double down make more videos and continue to draw your ears and tell pastor blessed and his wife and pastor nathaniel to go and do continue why are you why are you obviously since it was ordained since this whole thing has been predestined preordained that means there is a lesson to be learned that means there is there is a, a revelation there is something that needs to be exposed so double down on your allegations and let them take the law so that the will of god will manifest since this has been pre predestined so yeah double down don't apologize because you apologizing is you basically trying to change the cause of history trying to change what has been ordained and what's supposed to happen so it was already destined in the realm of the spirits so it just came to manifestation but i cannot blame i cannot blame myself i cannot justify myself i cannot say what i did was right for all because what i did was wrong in the sight of man in the sight of god for i plead for forgiveness mm. i'm one of your fans my my phone your music is in my phone i normally play your music i don't know whether it's there or something that came over me that made me to do that video but in all i'm saying is that i'm sorry i'm really sorry for doing that video i'm really sorry for laying out no i'm really sorry for never. saying that your son looked like that Zero I i'm very sorry you know there was a guy video i watched when the guy was trying to justify his action saying that he seeks he, he did his opinion blah 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 no i'm not in for that i'm not here to argue with you that we're, no what i'm just saying is that i'm sorry my fans that lost me i want to share this video so this video will get to them that i'm really sorry for what i did it was not intentional and it can never be intentional and whatever thing i said on that video was false and lie but they said that ignorance is not an excuse in the law all right so i'm just sorry if you see for the respect i have i deleted the video from my page i did not keep the video all right i did not keep the video i, I deleted it yeah, that is how you give know. you an award we should give you an award because you did not delete the video the person that is remorseful for those guys that joined me did not delete the video what i'm saying here is that please i'm sorry forgive me and forgive them please please i'm begging you i'm begging you and i'm begging you nigerians that i'm really sorry for disappointing you guys and um, even the five people i'm sorry we are all one we are all choosing even the five i'm not saying that what we did was right He's so fixated on those five people, like it's sickening, deflection, deflection. All we are doing was to chase money. All we are doing chasing is just to money, make money at other people's expense, chasing money at other people's detriment, right? Chasing money at other people's, uh, uh, by trying to destroy somebody else's happiness. Yeah? And yet he had the audacity to say, oh, at least we, we are not scamming white, the white man. Really? So, okay. But you want to destroy your own brethren. Somebody that you claim you listen to her music, you love her music, you have her music on your phone. Yet you want to destroy her because you want to make money. Oh, let's give him an award though because he is not trying to scam or yimbo people. Sickness sick in the right way not not scamming anybody not scamming the white man we just wanted to make money in the right way but all i'm saying is that please i'm sorry thank you very much can you imagine the words that are coming out of his mouth oh please i didn't we at least we're just trying to make money with it by we at least we are not scamming the white man you're not scamming the white man but you are destroying you are attempting to destroy somebody's happiness, somebody's life. You are attempting to destroy somebody's reputation. You are attempting to destroy somebody's reputation that they have built for so long. And you think that's better, makes you better than those people that are supposedly scamming the white man. You think you are better than those people? 
Because, oh, all you are doing is just trying to destroy Messi Chinwo's reputation, trying to destroy her name, destroy her career, trying to destroy Pastor Nathaniel Bass's name, career, you know, by inflicting, by pushing these lies. But no, at least we are not trying to scam Oyimbo. So you see, we are not doing something bad because we were not trying to scam Oyimbo. Can you imagine, even in the face of scrutiny, this man is still going through his low self-esteem and this nonsense superiority, or Yimbo superiority, uh, 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 low self-esteem and Yimbo superiority. Oh, but you see us, eh? We were just trying to, like, destroy our sister, Messi Chingo, and her husband, Pastor Blessed, and Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. Those were the people that we were trying to destroy. But, you know, we didn't mess with Oyimbo. We didn't scam Oyimbo. There is a special place in hell for people like you. Let me tell you. Quote the Bible all you want. Bible that you don't understand. There is a special place in hell for people like you. Okay. And then he even said that they were making money the right way. By destroy by trying to destroy somebody else's happiness, somebody else's life. Very sad. Anyways, you guys, this is where I'm going to end this. Thank you so much for watching. Facebook as YouTube as thank you so much. Please hit the like button and also share. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. I will catch you guys later. Bye. I hope that my my opinion on this is, I hope that this guy gets what's coming to him. I hope that Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, Pastor Blessed, and uh, Messi Chingo, I hope they don't, they don't get carried away by this. I, I hope that they're not moved by this fake non-apology. I knew I said, I, I know I said I wasn't going to like give my opinion on it, but... I changed my mind. It is a fake apology, and that's just my opinion. I hope that they are not moved by this fake apology. I hope that they send a message that it is not okay. Just because you're on social media does not give you the audacity to come and be maligning people's name, smearing people's name and their reputation and their marriage and their source of livelihood. Because if anybody believes the nonsense that came out of this clown's mouth, then People are going to look at all of the parties involved differently. That oh, we thought you were different. I can't believe that this is what you are about. That will subsequently affect their source of livelihood, the thing that they have built for so many, many years. So I hope that they don't just, you know, they are not moved by his non-apology. Because to me, this is a non-apology. Apology where you have to make excuses, justification, even, even blame it on predestination so such an apology is a non-apology so i hope that they get exactly what's coming to them i hope that they pursue them okay legally like they have done these people have not done anything wrong now and this is why i support them i cannot think of one thing that they have done wrong legally and by these people i mean pastor blessed pastor nathaniel Bassi and uh minister chinwo okay mercy chinwo so i hope they continue to pursue them legal pursue these people legally to the fullest extent of the law because this is bad this is not nice and the lack of accountability deflection making excuses yeah anyway Anyways, you guys, this is where I'm going to end this. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'll come by later because it's so, it's so Friday. It's a Saturday. And it's, um, yeah. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.